So Operation Finale. Uh, your character spends a lot of time in this film uh, lying, lying about who he is, lying about his intentions. I'm sort of wondering, uh, as an actor, what the key is to effectively lying on screen, to effectively saying lines that your character may not, or knows is not true. Well, Vinny, I, I take issue with the fact that he was lying, because whenever he expressed pride in what he had done, this is the man who said, I will leap laughing into my grave, knowing that I take the cells of six million with me. Um, so um, the act of manipulation was probably his, his, um, his greatest um, tool in, in uh, destroying or attempting to destroy all of Europe's Jews. So I think I would persuade you to think of it as being him being manipulative rather than a liar, because he, what he said was rooted in truth, his truth. There is a point in the film where he says, what is truth, whose truth? So I think that perhaps you know one can ponder on that as to whether he's speaking from the heart, whether he's lying. Certainly, I believe that he is telling the truth when he says that, that uh, Peter's sister is not worth the spit in his mouth. But that is said to provoke Peter into plunging more mm -hmm. of, the, of mm -hmm. that stuff into his veins. So he manipulates himself into hopefully being killed before he gets to Israel, that he got to Israel. And just to sort of piggyback off of that, I was going to ask you what kind of conversations you had with Oscar about where you wanted the two characters to be in, from moment to moment. What, what sort of relationship you wanted them to have in that moment compared to sort of when one of them is riling up the other and one of them is n not lying. I will not say, <laughs> I will not say Conversations lying. like that don't take place on the film set. Mm -hmm. um, actors, uh, first, if, if they are cast correctly by Chris, as I believe we were, uh, work from a basis of truth, but that, that's a tacit truth that's silently acknowledged between the two. Um, the debate about scenes did not take place. We understood perfectly our characters, our individual processes, both of whom are trying to manipulate the other. And you must let that breathe. You can talk it away. I don't talk it away. If I'm a portrait artist, I have to allow myself to look at the character I'm portraying, dip my brushes into the paint and apply it to the canvas, and there is no debate. It has to, it has to flow, and fortunately, Oscar and I trusted each other so much, and Chris, the director, was so steeped in his uh, mandate for, for, for making that film that the, that the conversations actually were minimal. And it was very, very intuitive. There's a there's a moment in particular I want to I want to ask you about where it's it's after you're you're captured it's you're you're sort of laying in this ditch and you and you let out this scream that mm -hmm. sort of made me feel so bad for your character even knowing who he is knowing mm -hmm. the type of person he is and I'm wondering if you were looking for small moments like that where where the audience has this such a mixed sort of even guilty feeling toward your character. I don't think I I contrived anything. I hope not. Um, because that, that, that any contrivance the camera will spot immediately, and so will the audience. That scream came out of the circumstance and the proximity to his house and um, the, the reliance he had on his Nazi son. Uh, and that scream um, just came out of me at the right time, I hope for the right reasons, and was fortunately caught on camera. So it's a combination of skill and intuition.